おはようございます。元気ですか。私はパールジャクソンジュニアです。Hi folks, it's Paul Jackson Jr. Just checking in with you and want to talk a little bit about something that I really enjoy using, a、uh, great effects pedal. And we're going to talk about compression and why to use it. And we're going to talk about the SP compressor from Exotic Effects. I wanted to talk about what I'm using today. This is a, my guitar is a Paul Reed Smith、uh, 513、uh, Maple Neck. I'm also using the,、uh, my signature model, which is the Paul Reed Smith JA15. Using that today. Using a, a Fuchs 50 watt ODS amplifier from Fuchs Audio Technology. Great amplifier, great amplifier, great guys. I'm using a Visual Sound volume pedal from, uh, from uh, Visual Sound. Visual volume pedal. It's got cool, got lights on it so you can see where you are. And I'm using a Line 6 M9. I'm only using this for reverb and delay. So everything else is、uh, sitting on the table here. All the compression you hear is from the SP compressor, so uh, all the, the、uh, overdrive from the BB. So you're wondering what's the big deal about compression? Well, I've used compression on most, if not all, of the hit records that I've played on over the past 30 years. There was a big one I did years ago. By Michael Jackson on the, on the Thriller record, and the part went something like this. A song called PYT, actually, and there was a lot of compressor. I believe that was a DBX 160X studio compressor that I used. And the reason that I use compression, and maybe the reason you're saying, well, what's the big deal about compression? Well, what compression does is.、Um, All instruments have what's called a dynamic range. And if you can think of a dynamic range as a big space that,、uh, from, from really soft to really, really loud, and all instruments have somewhat of a dynamic range. And you know, I could play a chord really softly, or I could play it really loud. And so that,、uh, that represents the dynamic range going from really soft to really loud. So all instruments have a dynamic range. Well, what compression does is take that big dynamic range and kind of squish it into a smaller space so that. The really loud parts aren't so loud, the really soft parts are not as soft, and it, it makes for、um, something that's easier to hear, something that's easier to record a lot of times, and parts that are easier to mix. Now, what you want to be careful not to do is squish it so much that you lose the characteristic of the instrument, that you use, lose the natural tone of the instrument. And that's one of the things I like about the SP compressor. Now, it's got a lot of cool features, and I'll just talk about a couple of them. One of the reasons that I like it is the size. Now, you can kind of compare it to some larger pedals, like I have larger, I have a BB Plus here, a Robotalk, even the RC Booster. And you might say, man, I, I really would like some compression on my board, but I don't have a lot of room. Well, this is the pedal for you because it does, as you can see, it does not take up a lot of space. Another thing you'll notice about the SP is that it's got a blend knob. So you can blend between no compression at all, which is this. To the compression all the way on. And then you can blend anywhere in the spectrum to get the desired effect that you want. Maybe you just want, you want the natural attack, but you want the compression to come in behind it. Let's try it about,、uh, let's try it about two o'clock there. See what that sounds like. Let's try it right in the middle there. So you can hear the natural attack, but then the compression c o m e in. And you can blend it anywhere you want. And that's kind of a cool feature because you say, man, I just want a hair compression. I just want the, I want the natural attack, but I want it to like sustain a little longer. So, you know, you might just have just a little bit, tiny bit. And right now I have it set at nine o'clock.
verses all the way. The other thing I like about the SP compressor is there's a, a phenomenon in compression known as pumping where the release comes open, but as it comes open, it kind of like breathes and it, it kind of is a funny pumping sound, but you don't get that with the SP. You get nice natural, even all the way up, even as it's all the way up. You don't hear any pumping, just a nice smooth release. Very, very cool feature. Another thing about the SP is there are a few pedals on the market that are this size, but all of them require the nine volt adapter. You can see right here that, you know, no sleight of hand, there's no adapter on the pedal. The reason is, is because all the exotic small effects are able to use a nine volt battery by themselves. So um, if you're just throwing it in your bag or you just want to add it real quick, you can do that using a nine volt battery as opposed to having to use a wall wart or some kind of adapter. So that's a very, very, very cool feature. Another cool feature of the SP is that it's very simple to operate. Very, very simple. You have, as I talked about, the blend control, you know, all the way compressed versus no compression at all. You have the volume control, which sets your output. And then you have a little toggle switch, which sets the amount of compression. In the middle, it's low. I'll set it all the way just for the sake of uh, demonstration here. Mid, a little bit more. And then, for people like me, who are compression crazy, all the way up. Very, very cool. So between the high, low, and mid settings and the blend knob, you can get from just a tiny hair of compression to all the way squashed, which is somehow I, the way I like it. But you know, very simple to operate, very few controls, but very, very versatile. Those are some of the things that I like about the SP compressor. One more very cool function of the SP compressor is because you have the blend control, you can also use it as a clean boost. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's turn it back on. And uh, I have the compress compre and I have compression set to mid. Okay, and you know I can vary the output, obviously. But let's set it all the way to the compression off. You can still vary the output. So the cool thing is you can use the SP compressor as a clean boost as well. So you don't need to buy, okay, let's say I need a clean boost and I need a compressor and I have this much space. Well, let's see. I can buy, uh, if I have like this much space, I could buy an SP and let's say an EP from Exotic, which is a clean boost. Or let's say I only have space, for just this much space, I can buy the SP compressor and I can use it as a clean boost and I can use it as a compressor. So that's another cool feature of the SP.